If you use Google Photos on your phone, the Google Photos app, it may sometimes be a little confusing as how to get to the things you, you want to see. They keep changing things, but right now, June 2025, that is works just the same on the Android and on the iPhone. There are six buttons that you need to know about. One is the Photos button. That's where all your photos are. Two is the Collections. Three is Ask and Search. Four is the Create button. Five is Notifications. And six is your Account button. Now, just for getting around and looking at all your photos, it's really just one, two, and three that you need to be familiar with. So let me show you how. I'm going to do this on my Samsung, but as I said, the iPhone is just the same these days. So open up Google Photos, and first you are at the Photos button. So I just want you to see there's just three choices for how to look at your photos. Photos, Collections, and Ask or Search. When you're on Photos, this is showing you your entire library, your lifetime of photos in date order with the most recent on top. A couple things you can do here. Notice how there are bigger photos and smaller photos. If you put your two fingers on the screen and pinch, you get down to they're all the same size, and then you get down to what's called month view. So they are all the same size in a grid under the month. As you scroll, notice how it has the month and the location at the top of the screen. So I can zip, if I'm looking for June 2024, I can just keep scrolling and I can grab this little button over the side to scroll even faster. And now I see the different years go by, the years and month, and I can get in the general location and then start scrolling again and notice the month and year at the top left. Then you can pinch your fingers apart and they get bigger and bigger until you're down at one. Aww. <laughs> now, how do you get back to the whole view? Well, you can pinch, you can pinch together and pinch and pinch until they're all small. So that is the Photos button. Next, I want to show you the Ask. I'm going to skip over. I'll tell you why. The Ask and Search button. If I tap on that, Ask is Google's Google Photos new feature where you can ask actually a question to give an answer. So for example, we are currently in docked in Seattle. Our cruise ship is docked in Seattle, and I want to know when was I last in Seattle? I'm asking this question of Google Photos because anywhere I am, it knows that I take pictures. And this is fun. It tells me, you're in Seattle today, snapping pictures of the scenery and a cute pelican toy. You visited Seattle back in September 2010 where you posted a photo with your mom at the Space Needle. Well, this is a photo from today, so if I view more, I should now see that photo with my mom in 2010 of the Space Needle. So that's ask, but sometimes this AI question answer doesn't give you what you want, and you want to go back to the old way. Easily done. Switch to classic search. Now you're doing the same kind of search that you've always done in Google Photos. All right, so that's Photos and Ask. Everything else, everything else is under Collections, so that's why I saved it for last. Collections is just where you see all of your photos grouped in the different ways. So at, and there's a bunch here, at the very top of collections, you will see favorites and trash. Yeah, I guess you collect trash, right? That makes sense, collections. And then it posts, these are like quick links to your most recent 
and active albums. Then there is the people and pets. Here is where you find all your face groupings. On this device, those are photos that may or may not be in your Google Photos library, but they are on your device. For example, WhatsApp images are found here. I don't like having all the WhatsApp images taken by other people, but I do not want them in my Google Photos, so I have the backup turned off. But in Google Photos, I can still see what they are. And on and on. There's lots of photos on device that may or may not be backing up into your Google Photos library. Next comes albums. Those are your albums, and I have hundreds of them. The last ones worked with are at the top because I have it set to last modified. You can change that to album title or most recent photo. You can also see albums that were shared with you, or just my albums, or all. So that's albums. Then notice I'm pressing the back button in order to get out of wherever I was. Documents is a special set of groupings when it sees pictures that aren't photos of places and things. And then places. Now, I like this. It has a map. And we just got to Seattle today, yet if I look at the map, I see that I have these purple dots all over the place. And I can see this place called La Conner, where we camped. And when was that? There's our RV in La Conner. I can scroll up and see that we were there in 2014. Now, how would I get back to my whole library? You have to keep pressing the back button, back, until you get the three buttons at the bottom again. Then there are groupings by type, you know, screenshots, or my partner's photos, Jim's photos, or the archive. So, Everything is under collections that is at all special. Photos is your whole library. Ask is where you can find your pictures. You can switch to classic search there. And just remember, you have to keep pressing this back button until you see your three menu items at the bottom. And that's how you get around in Google Photos. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour.